Do birimbau, a gente sabe meu carnaval. Na onda do birimbau, a gente sabe meu carnaval. Bate com a mão que eu bato no pé, o samba virou candomblé. Bate com a mão que eu bato no pé, o samba virou candomblé. Bate com a mão que eu bato no pé, o samba virou candomblé. Bate com a mão que eu bato no pé, o samba virou candomblé. Do birimbau, a gente tá em um carnaval. Do birimbau, a gente sabe no carnaval. Okay, we've got a jam-packed show today. I'm excited, and you should be very excited because we're going to be starting off with capoeira. That's right. This centuries-old tradition actually has a really interesting history, and it combines martial arts and dance. So let's check it out. Cleverly disguised within music and dance rituals, capoeira is a Brazilian martial art created by slaves to fight oppression. Centuries later, the self-defense technique has become widespread with academies springing up across the U.S., such as Grupo Ache Capoeira, which has many chapters worldwide. Jay Spain, instructor at the group's Phoenix Division, is a devotee of the art form, which celebrates many facets of the rich Afro-Brazilian culture. The capoeira was created over 400 years ago. It was created in a time for survival. It was an art that was created out of necessity. So it has many attributes and many levels. And so what do we get out of capoeira? We get a sense of discipline, a sense of self-defense, a sense of respect. We also learn a culture, we learn a language, we learn songs, we learn history, we learn movement, we learn how to dance. Because the slaves had to hide their real purpose, which was to fight. This martial art, which was once outlawed and whose loyalists risked the death penalty up until the 1930s, has found a new following in the diverse Valley of the Sun. We have a very mixed community here in, in the Greater Phoenix. We have a lot of Hispanics. As you know, we're close to the border of Mexico. We have Caucasians, uh, blacks, uh, people from Europe, and also Asia. So we have that representation in our class. Uh, the name of our grupo is Ache Capoeira. And Ache simply means uh, positive energy that exists in the whole uh, entire universe. And it's uh, a word that came from the Yoruba people from the region that we now know as Nigeria. So we have good capoeira, good Ache Capoeira. Typically, three styles of capoeira are practiced. Angola is faithful to the original style focusing on technique and strategy, while regional is played at a faster pace and displays the more acrobatic movements that today have become synonymous with the martial art. The last form, benguela, places emphasis on fluidity and flow. In addition to teaching all three types, Grupo Ache Capoeira is also a renowned traveling group that produces videos and music. <laughs> Having influenced hip-hop and a whole generation of dancers, the spirit of capoeira is widely visible today. When I did see break dancers back in the 70s, back in New York City, one thing I noticed is it was when Master Lorimer Machado would do capoeira in the park, some of the breakers would see his movement and they started imitating it. So a lot of the movements that uh, b-boys or breakers see today were inspired from capoeira. At the root of capoeira lies the empowering strength that it bestows onto its faithful practitioners, who say it helps them in many other aspects of their lives. <laughs> 